Hi everyone, it's me and my little grand boy Isaac today. Isaac Lee Martin. Say it clear. Isaac, Isaac Lee Martin. Okay. <laughs> and here we are. He has a new little thing he wants to share with you. Plus we have Diamond Paintings Part 2 from that Timu haul that I just opened. So stick with us and we'll go through all of this together. Let's tell them again. This is Isaac Liam Martin, my grand boy. Say hey. <laughs> and he has something special to show everyone he wanted to show everybody what he got we went somewhere special yesterday where did we go at the store the what kind of store um i forgot the name it's a big warehouse big warehouse and it's sam's club that's where i took them so uh they had never been and we had lunch there, had big old pieces of pizza, and you had a big hot dog. Hot dog. And yeah. his sister let him try some of that pizza, and you was wishing you got the pizza, didn't you? <laughs> but the hot dog was still good, right? Yeah, and make it a tiny little pill. You have to talk normal and talk loud so they can hear you. Like a tiny bear. It's a tiny bear, and he has... Two toys here that he you may hear him clump around, you know. Bumpy. Bumpy is the, the little dinosaur. In Jurassic World. In Jurassic World, I guess. In the park. Oh, it's the cartoon. Okay, see? And Bumpy. Yeah, so he calls it Bumpy like what and they... And he's tiny little topia. Little, road, little quartz bear. And he's, he's, he can, it's hard for him not to tap them and... You know, so if you hear that, I apologize. Just be, try to be still, okay? Okay. Thank you. So, while they were there, they got to pick out a book. And what book did you pick out? A train book. A train book. And this book was special because what did it have in it? A train. A train to build. And guess who got to build it? Who built it? You. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to come home, had it all planned out, I was going to do this video, and instead, I had over 200 and some parts to put together right here, and this is all cardboard and paper, and it doesn't tell you to glue it, but I glued it in places, Bye, because with this, thing, Bye, this little one right here, it, it ain't going to survive too long. And they see takes very good care of it. So it, the book told him about the very first uh, and ma'am, guess trains. what? It can work on the carpet too. Well, we don't want to um, pull it and make the wheel, the wheels are supposed to work, but they didn't make the second. Um, it don't work. This right here, it will only go. To about right there and then this breaks so you don't want to i mean it's so, supposed to work so when see? This stop, but when, once it gets so over on this side it's not long enough and when the it wheels doesn't go stop long when the wheels stop it makes it squeak like like, like it breaks is. yeah like if an animal's in the way it'll just oh no there's an animal <laughs> That's what the cattle guard's for on that front right there. It's it can whenever, throw it like... Yeah, whenever the cows get laying across the, the, the railroad tracks, it would just scoot, scoot them right on off there, wouldn't it? And it would just do this. <laughs> so he was learning. The book teaches him about the very first... And Bumpy stronger than the train. Okay. Bump, Bumpy. Okay. And it was really cool to it's put lovely. together. It took uh, a good... Five hours, I'd say, with me. It took and... the whole day and the whole night. No, it took all night. You're you're telling little fibblers, fibblers. <laughs> Anyways, 
But that's his train, and he's learned a lot, and then we'll be reading more about it in the book. And it goes from the very earliest yeah. trains. Wait one second, please. Earliest trains to the very latest ones, the subways and things like that. So it, it tells about the engines and everything. And he just loves trains. Who wouldn't love trains? They're just really cool, aren't they? Yeah. They're very cool. Why do you like trains? Because they move, and I like how they do the thing. The whistle? Yeah, and I like them because they're really, and they can, some trains can be made out of gold and like this. Oh, all gold? A whole gold train? That'd be heavy. And, and then Bumpy could stop it like that. Oh yeah, it's not, I gotta have trains and dinosaurs. It, the dinosaurs gotta be in there somewhere in the train, right? Yeah, like in here. Like in the T-Rexes, they can't get out. What do they call that right here? The um. It's where they put the what? The coal. I the mean. coal, and what is the coal used for? It's supposed to put in it in the fire, and it makes this thing go toot toot, toot and toot, the wheels yeah. go. Ooh, chuka, Faster. Chuka, choo, choo. Yeah, it makes yeah, it. Like, doom. It. How does it do it? Cause it makes the fire hotter the more coal you put in there. Yeah, and it get and it makes the wheels get started and then. Doom. But the what does wheels. the fire heat? The train. Inside here, what else do they put in here? They put it wood. Water. Water. That, remember, it's steam. It gets really hot in there, and then that steam has to go somewhere, and if it doesn't go somewhere, it'll explode, right? Hey, the right? Yeah. Now, pay attention to me, okay? Okay. So, they actually control where that steam goes, and it goes through the motor, and it powers the wheels, doesn't it? It makes them yeah. go. So, that's what... And that's it what comes this, through here to here and here and this is where the engine starts and then it makes this go back and forth the pistons and the wheels yep. go like this let's see i don't want to break it so this goes back and forth this is the piston so the steam powers this to go back and forth and it powers the drive wheels so and then this is called a tender where they put the, the coal. Coal. Yep. And they need the coal because why? They got if they don't have any more coal, what will happen? It'll just train squeeze. Yeah, the fire will go out. And then and, and then they won't have no power, will they? Yeah, and the animal will be like mad and they would want to go home really bad. The animals? Yeah, and they would be sad. Oh, okay. Alright. I was sitting there. I could be doing, I needed to do my videos all worried about that and everything. And then I thought, well, wait a minute. This is going to be something he's going to enjoy. And remember, his mem uh, took the time to build that train for him. So I was like, well, hey, that's what we need to be doing anyways. He wanted me to let you know that I got it at Sam's in the book area. There's also another one where you build the, skele the skeletal, skeleton of a body. And it prob and it it has the book along with it that tells exactly what you know is about it. So, anyways, um, he wanted to show that, and I thought that was so special. He went and got the book. This is what it looks like, right? Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like, and <coughs> it opens up. You can tell it's you know it's it's like a box, all right. And then it had a. Um, it had a little thing around it that kept, that kept it closed, but I think he took it off. Um, this is the, tr the, the book, and it tells all about a lot of the stuff. And they learned how to make the trains. And so they made a bigger one. Uh-huh. So every day it gets bigger. And guess what? They make these trains underground. And they cut, and there's a tunnel where that leads back up. Yeah, the subways, right? Yeah, the subways. It even shows the thing that drills, <coughs> that drills the subway. Let's see if that's it. Yep, that's the the machine, the and drill. And guess what? 
that drills the subways. Did you see that? That's the actual drill that drills the hole under the ground yeah, and for the subways. What, and guess what? You know these things that does this? Like one of these, like these? The those, cattle guards. Yeah, and the, those things push stuff out of the way. Like a cow, like I just showed you, this flies out mm -hmm. the way. When it, when it and gets what else can it over, push? Rocks and sand and... And what, fly, what comes down in that winter time? Snow. Snow. Okay. And leaves. And leaves. Yeah. Everything that falls down from stuff, even if it's too much water and there's a flood, it the train will float. No, trains don't float. They heavy. They're heavy. They're made of real big heavy metal, right? Yeah. You can't just lift them up with your hands. So when things are heavy and you I put them could. in water, they sink. But, but cardboard, somebody it could, could it, invent one that does float. Yeah, like this train, like if the whole town get flooded and the boats get flooded and they need to go somewhere, they could build these. That's why they built subways. Because in the future, water, we're going to have floating trains. If there's water... Water couldn't come underground, but we need to know how they go underground. Yes. But if there's a hole, water will just go in it. it. And we don't want that, so we need a better place to make them go in. Like somewhere high, like in the mountains, they could build that where it wouldn't, where the hole. Where the water won't come in. That's right. Okay. So that's all about trains according to little Isaac Liam Martin. So if you are at Sam's or you can purchase it online or go look for it, it's uh, Build the Train. Where'd you go? What, yes, Okay. Well, come back here. You're still on the, on the video. Oh, <laughs> Okay, this is called Build the Train by, let's see, it says Build a Two-Foot-Long Rolling Train, written by Philip Steele, illustrated by Gregor Forrester. So, if you can find this somewhere for your grand, uh, grand boy or grand girl, some, I like trains too. So, this is really cool, but I'm going to tell you, you need to be very patient and I glued everything except the wheels. Don't glue the wheels. You know. But anyways, it is really cute. It's a good way to teach them how to take care of something very special too. Even trains. Even if you have a train and it, you're supposed to play with it and look at it and you don't want to play with it ever again, then you just keep it somewhere safe. But, but like a collectible, but you have right? to build a wall where it wouldn't fall off. That's right. Like if the thing shakes, it wouldn't like break. Okay, I think your daddy's here, so take the book with you and shut the door behind you, all right? Okay. Thank you so much, Isaac. Isaac you're welcome. <laughs> He's doing great. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Nine diamond paintings right here to get through together. So before I get started, um, let me just, I'm just going to blindly grab one and show you up here and then we'll go down to, to see. And I think that I have fixed my camera to where it will actually not be leaning. Here we go. Let's see what this, what is this? These are two horses, side by side, side by side, and it is a special drill partial, and this is part two of the Timu diamond painting order that I just did, and I had so many that I had to do two parts, so we're going to try to get through all of these pretty quickly. These are partial, and I will put you down here so you can see it a little closer. I think that works right there, young'uns. I think that's going to work. 
Now here's the, the diamonds that came, and here's the, the picture. And it's two horses. And it's going to be very colorful. I'll put the picture up right here, so that way you can see what it's supposed to look like. The actual picture. This is a 30 by 40. And uh, it has 14 colors in this. It has uh, special drills all over almost. It really almost just about, I think it's about three quarters of the way, almost all the way special drill. And, but that this has been very good about just making it sticky where the um, special drills go. And there's glitter in the canvas, so that will show through in between. And I don't see any issues other than the regular, you know, wrapped. That, that, that just wasn't any good right there. I'm gonna have to do that better. <laughs> I don't like leaving any kind of, well, see, I still make wrinkles. But anyways, um, this is gonna be really colorful, really, really pretty. Here are the symbols. I'm gonna try to be still. The last video I did, I, I've gotten to where I move around so much whenever I'm doing these that <laughs> I don't see how y'all can stand it. You're like, be still, we can't see it. <laughs> and then you can see some of the, the, the way that the pattern is gonna be on this. Let's see if I can get a hold of it to where you can see a little bit more of it than just that one strip. And you can see the two horses. And these are going to be really pretty. Really, really, really pretty. Just love this. It's different. And we will go ahead and look at the diamonds. Right here. 1 through 14. These are... They do have the B09, B095 on here, and then the numbers, there's number 14, and big, big numbers right there. It's interesting. Each one seems like they're, it's done differently. <laughs> okay, and look at these beautiful colors in this diamond painting. I'm going to go slow because I just tend to flick these things around and you're like, okay, I see diamonds, but I don't know what color they are because she wasn't slow enough for me to look. So there's purples, there's pinks. Um, this one is a dark green right here, dark green. And then we have the orange or gold, dark gold. And these are black, I think. No, nope. let me see what color is this. This is dark purple, really dark purple. And then we have one through three, which is a uh, diamond color, green and blue. See how pretty they sparkle. So that's what's going to be the colors of this one. I'm really excited. I'm getting so many neat ones here. These new ones that I'm getting is so neat that <laughs> I'm having a hard time trying to figure out which one I want to do first. I really, I really am. How do you, how can you tell which one? And this one actually come with the little plastic tweezers in the tool bag. 
So sometimes you will get tweezers. Okay, so we're gonna put this one, I'm gonna move my phone over here. Put that one right there, and where's my pen? And it's BO, BO95, and this is two horses. Special drill. And see, all my special drill packs go in one specific drawer that I have. Okay. So that way, all, they all stay together separate from the regular, just the regular diamond painting drills. Okay, so here is this next one. It is a butterfly. And you can see, let's turn it over. We do have some crimping on the ends. So we will have to address that with all our little methods of trying to get this, this out. I do believe it will be okay because it is the edge and it's not like that the drills are going to come, the diamonds are going to come all the way up to the edges. Only on, on this right here and right here. So I think it'll be fine. Um, and you can see that it is sticky where those diamonds are going to go. This one has six, I mean eight colors, I'm sorry. Eight colors, it's 35 by 35. So it's just a tiny bit bigger than a 30 by 30. So it's 35 by 35. This one has a lot of the different shapes in it. And that's what I love it whenever they have all these different shaped ones because they're fast to different each one and they just grab the light and people will go crazy over these. When I'm done with them, I'm gonna mount them on a stretch canvas and sell them. If someone likes them, if they don't sell, then I enjoyed um, showing it to everybody. And there's the symbols right here that you'll be looking for. You can see how pretty this is going to be. It's going to be a really nice picture. Now, I'm going to show you either I'll, I'll show you the diamonds, but either I'll find the edge to open these easy and then I can't get them open <laughs> or I can't find it at all so we have eight colors let's look and see if we have eight yep one two three four five there's two fives six seven and eight now the thing about these is I have run into a diamond painting where one of these compartments was actually skipped and they have a machine that has all the diamonds above and as the machine is running these through it puts however many it needs to for this design in each packet. And sometimes, very rarely, it will skip and miss one of the, the packets. So you have to let that um, um, company know. And you can see the serial, the serial number YN059 is on here, if it will focus and then the number in the order and I do these in the order that the packets are because these are so quick we get these done so quick and this is a aquamarine green this is a emerald green this is a uh, orange I do believe yes an orange this is red Look at that, how pretty. That's the two fives. And then we have the marquee uh, shape of a topaz. And this one is, um, is this a, that's a teardrop and topaz. And then this is Aurora Borealis peacock color right there. So, Sometimes I can do that and it will show the, the, some will flip around and you can see the colors better, but the silver side is the side that you put down on the glue. <laughs> some people just starting out, 
has I have seen that question do which side is down um, and it's an easy question I mean some people have never done anything like this and so they don't realize what which side is down so I'm gonna put these over here so they're out of the way and now the next one I believe this is an also uh, another uh, butterfly you can see up here <laughs> that it is a butterfly and we love butterflies no it's not look at there <laughs> we thought it was a butterfly fooled ya fooled ya fooled me now this one is kind of bent pretty pretty right here but this will be cut off so it's not going to hurt anything um, let's look over on the back side there is a few little creases but they don't look bad at all they're going to be fine and this is Mr. Fox. <laughs> this fox looks mad for being in some pretty flowers. Somebody stole my chickens or, or Farmer Jones put up extra fencing and got him a watchdog and now I can't get into the chicken coop. <laughs> He's hiding in Mrs. Jones' flower bushes where he can't He's uh, overseeing the the reinforcements of the chicken coop, and he knows he's done for. He's going to have to go down the road further to the next farm, try to get them chickens. <laughs> so, yeah. Really neat. Another partial. It's all partial around through here. There's no sticky, and it's just the fox the fl and the flowers and the greenery there is 13 colors though in this picture it is a 30 by 40 the serial number is up189 up189 and that is on the diamonds oh we have one that looks like it's been uh may have fallen out it could have been just from the factory it's got stuck on the the glue the the seal <laughs> so I'm making sure that nothing's falling out there's no blacks in this one I don't believe so that's from something else <laughs> in the factory so here we go we got the orange we've got the pink hot pink this is the is this a smoky this is a smoky citrine there's a diamond color here is a light smoky green and here is a citrine yellow and then this is a another watermelon or raspberry pink I'd say that's a raspberry pink and a light purple there is another, like I said, that's watermelon color right there, a watermelon pink. And then you've got an orange with Aurora Borealis on it. So you can see a little bit of that rainbow iridescence effect. And then we have teardrop citrine, teardrops right here. Let's see if I can get them to, there you go. And then marquee shape green, light peridot green aurora borealis treatment on that. They call them AB drills whenever they have that on them for aurora borealis, I do believe. And then, then there's the pink with the same treatment in its teardrops, the larger teardrops. So this one is also going to be really interesting, really neat, and really different. Some people love foxes. So, that's a nice one. I'm loving these special drills because it doesn't take long to do them. And while you're doing them, they re you're just really so happy. It, well, because of the colors underneath the... Our, the our, if you do not have a, ma a lighted LED magnifying glass um, to do these, oh, uh, and a light pad underneath, 
you really need to do that because it um, it helps so much. Honey, if you get go ahead and bite the bullet, I'm gonna wait on that one. Bite the bullet and get you an A4 or an A. I would get an A3 at least. I use an A2. I have an A2. I have I have A2 through A4s. Okay, light pads. Um, I would at least get an A3 because you can do both small and some large with that. So if you're not doing real big large ones, then um, A3 and A4 will be fine for you. Now, uh, lighted LED table attaching magnifying glass. You desperately need that. Because, I mean, if you're doing that, I used to do these when I first started without one. And once you get one, it makes a world of difference, everyone. It makes a world, world of difference. Now, this one come with the regular toolkit, but it had baggies in there, and I, I like that. I used to hate baggies because of the static, but I'm loving it for... Whoops, there went my phone. Anyways, um, I'm loving it for these because when I'm done going through these, I, I have baggies to put them in, and I can then save them for later. While I'm working, I don't have to, I don't have to get out anything other than what I need. But um, I don't have to kit it up or anything like that because they're so small. Nice peacock right here. Isn't it pretty? Very pretty. This one's got a lot of diamonds on this one. It, I'll, I mean, I believe the whole side. Let's see if it goes down the side as well. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, a lot of them will go all the way around the side here. But I, ha I don't see the symbol on there for that. But anyways, it's from here all the way through nothing but special drills all those beautiful beautiful colors of rhinestones and here is the key symbol key you notice this one just has them in order and they don't have the actual diamond uh, numbers beside them so anyways i'm looking at the back no real big crimps this right here is just where it was full where it was shipped and it will come out whenever I let it sit under a book so I'm gonna make sure yep it is sticky I can tell yep and really pretty I love it now here is a different color the others are usually blue and silver and this is um, pink and silver or purple and silver well let's say it's a burgundy let's see here. it's a burgundy pink packaging and they also have the SJ3011 SJ3011 on each pack and it is 0 to 10 and here is red. It's red. And then this is gold. I think these are round. Both of those are round. This is a lighter, just a tad bit lighter gold. This is a blue purple right here. No, that's blue. It looks blue purple from the other side. And then there's a lighter blue. From that one and then this is an emerald and here is a purple purple so this is purple that's on the, the packaging and here's a lighter purple and then what are these let me get these to turn around for you so you can see them okay these are uh, peacock color round peacock color right there with the aurora borealis on there i hope you can tell hope you can see that and then the aurora borealis what is this clear 
her um, Mar Marquise shape. And then this one is the big uh, golden Aurora Borealis feather looking shell shape. It's a shell, sh shell shape and they use it a lot for peacocks and things that, that look like feathers. So that's those. It's so funny how these diamond paintings have such difference in, in the, the diamonds. They come from Timu, but there's several stores, sort of like an AliExpress. And it, oh wow, I just about passed out. That's weird. I just about passed out, y'all. That is weird. I don't understand that. I have never been that close to passing out. I've been close, but not that close. I literally leaned forward and about fell out of my chair. Okay. I'll check my... I'm going to go check my uh, blood pressure really quick. Okay, everyone, my blood pressure is 122 over 85, so that's not my blood pressure. That was just weird. It's just like it was just all of a sudden uh, my body went forward like I was going to hit uh, and uh, and everything was really I was dizzy in the room it was sort of like on a boat you know oh that was re I mean really crazy so hope everything will be all right Lord help me anyways here we go and I love this this is um, teacups what do I not love? I'm telling you, there's so many wonderful paintings, wonderful designs. And look at this. This is teacups, a tea set. Um, having high tea. Um, I love having high tea. We used to go to tea, sh tea shops, tea rooms, and have high tea. And you wear your Sunday best, and it, it's just so fun. And gloves, and things like that if it's in the daytime or not well no it the type of glove it's a different type of glove in the daytime or the nighttime so anyways but in this nice it's so pretty and let me move some stuff out of the way this one's going to go down in here okay and this partial throughout all this area and underneath and all the flowers and the teacups and the teapots have the diamonds on them. They're gonna have the diamonds on them. This has eight colors. And let's get into those eight colors really quickly. I just feel really tired all of a sudden. So, I don't know. I've ate and drank, so I don't know. It just could be medicine that I take. Oh, and look, these are so cute. Now, it does have the YNO52, YNO52 on here, if you can see that. Let's see if it will. There we go. And when I turn this around, look at this. They are the shape of flowers with that are somewhat of a iridescence to them. Oh my goodness, youngins. There's two packs of them. That's going all over this. Oh my goodness. I love it, love it, love it. And then we have some Aurora Borealis uh, pink. I think, or red. And then this one. It might have been me, me holding my arms out for so long. Um, the little teeny tiny teardrops that drive me crazy. And here's some more. That's the. Yeah, this is citrine. This is the pink. This looks like hot pink, or a little bit of a raspberry. I think it's more raspberry. What do y'all think? Let's see. 
it always shows up different on on the on here and then I'm hoping that it is focusing there's the emerald green and here is the pink smoky pink and or dusty pink and then the diamond and some more citrine so it may have been because I had my arms held out for so long yeah, I'm, I'm still feeling kind of, now I'm starting to want to get a little nauseous. I may have just had a little bit of a heart arrhythmia or something. Something didn't do right for a few minutes. So, anyways, there's that one. And I am determined to get through all of this for you. I'll be fine. I promise you, if I conk out while I'm on video, I won't. I won't take that out of the video. You'll get to see me flop over. <laughs> uh, we. Oh, look how dirty. Yunks. The ink got all. Or either. It, oh, I see what. I don't know. I thought maybe it come through the canvas. It has a little bit. I think that's what it is. Anyways, this is another fox. Another pretty fox. See, let me get it, try to get it to straighten out a little bit better for you. Not putting in no uh, creases, but you can see how pretty this fox is. Really pretty. I will leave it in the video if I can't count. <laughs> if I flop, it'll be like <laughs> where. <laughs> I shouldn't make fun of it. I shouldn't make light of it. But that time when, um, what was that woman? It was a politician that was um, over the defense during Clinton years in Waco. And, and she was standing up there behind a podium. And then she conked over and all you saw was her, heel, her long legs and her heels from behind the podium. Um, I, Janet Reno. I remember that. And I'm thinking I'll be just like Janet Reno. They'll probably see me <laughs> conked out on here. Um, I, I don't mean to make light of people that p pass out or have any kind of health issues or anything like that. I'm just being silly. I don't mean to har harm anyone. Some things can be kind of funny after you see that the person is okay. I'll be okay. <laughs> And it won't hurt my feelings if you laugh. <laughs> so, when something's funny, it's funny. Some people laugh and, and don't realize, they think it's a joke, and then they realize it's serious, and then they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I laugh. But that's okay. I'm not going to get mad at anybody. <laughs> There's the silver diamonds. And here are some purple. I mean, that's another raspberry. I'd say. And then emerald green. London dark blue topaz. Orange. And this one is uh, uh, orangey citrine and it's smoky. So it's a, a darker smoky color. And then a light purple gold or yellow or citrine you want to call it and then we have clear or diamond color aurora borealis right there you can see that rainbowy effect treatment on there and then these have the same thing except their orange base and then we have a purple peacock color Aurora Borealis right here and then we have the green which I think is just green marquee shape no there's Aurora Borealis on that too just very light very light amount of it you can see there and then this color oh they almost cut into that where it would would um, come out but this is a red with a with that same treatment to it. 
So you can see, it's going to be really, really, really pretty, don't you think? This must be from the company that does the purple ones, the purple um, drill bags, because <laughs> it's purple. UP049 is on there. put the fox over here. You've seen the symbols on the fox, I think. I don't know, but I'll show it to you again. And over here. I haven't noticed anything hard to see on these, but these are the special drill. Maybe different for the, the full drill. Okay, we got one special drill and two full drills left. Ooh, see, I tell you, these things, these things pile up. So what I do is I take, I, I throw away the wax because I haven't got any use for the wax because I use the tacky putty that you put on posters. And then I, I give the, the trays and I take the tip out of the, the pink pen. I take the tip out and just give the straw and this green boat they call this a boat and give it to the school the elementary school for their art projects and things so that's what i do once i get a whole box of them i'll take them to the school or my grandbabies will take them and deliver them to okay this is strange to their school okay that one was <laughs> ripped. Anyways, let's make sure everything's okay. Oh my goodness, look at there. Now this one feels like it is kind of wrinkled, but I'm not sure. Come with the tweezers. Now these little tweezers you can also send to the school too, because they may need to use them in science things. Um, here are the diamonds. These are actually in little, the packets. And they have the X Let's see, where's the serial number? This does not have a serial number on it. Oh, yeah, right here. <laughs> right here it does. Anyways, it was hiding from me. It was like this. I couldn't see. On my side, I couldn't see it at all. YX0, I mean, 8040. YX8040, good. And it has eight colors. And you look in here and you make sure that there isn't anything leaking. And make sure all of these are tightened. See this one? This one has a diamond. Let's see. There you can see it now. Diamond above the zipper. So let's carefully. Uh, it was closed. It was just stuck there. Okay, one, two, that's 13, 14, what? It does, it has 14, why did I say eight? It has 14 colors. Uh, five, six, seven, that one was open, I did feel it was open. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four, <laughs> and three. So it's one, two, three, four, and I've got all, all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And here are the colors. Okay, so I'm going to show you. There's the red. Oops, sorry. There are there is the red, and there is like a peacock green. Let's see if I can get it to 
to focus peacock green if I move it it messes it up here is 12 it's just pearl I don't know if you'll be able to see that pearlescence on there Let's see if it will focus on there I don't know anyways here's a smaller pearlescent round and here is citrine or gold and then here well this is more citrine the other one was gold this is still not focused I am so sorry everyone there we go I think I got it there and this is a deep green I think I'm not sure um, yeah that's a deep emerald and then we have the light blue turquoise and then we have some green more emerald this is a lighter emerald and then I'd say raspberry and a more of a blue peacock AB Aurora Borealis and then we have a purple and then we have more of the smaller little pearl essence and then this one is a red a red color I hope you were able to see those colors it was kind of hard because I have to reach across and, and I'll I usually don't go through these like that these baggies because it just takes so long to get them back together and move on to the next one I'm getting kind of tired so <laughs> I don't know what was going on with me earlier just a minute ago I never know what I so now I'm going to yawn never know what I'm going to get and this is <laughs> I showed you that before I actually showed you the picture it is a bloodhound or a coon hound however you want to say with him sad old coon, coon hound eyes or bloodhound I used to breed bloodhounds I'm going to tell you right now if you like a cr the puppy stage where they're pooping and, and making a slobber and all kinds of crazy chewing up everything they stay that way till they die and they think that it's they are providing you a service by being that way <laughs> they're happy to do it for you so <laughs> yeah and they pull and you're not going to breed that out of them you better not because then you won't have bloodhounds that uh will track because that pulling is something that they've been taught to do as they track for you okay now there's some letters in this and um, I was just making sure these aren't any bad symbolisms or anything like that you know how you never know anymore these days and then there's star shapes and paisley it's almost a paisley effect but it's really cute I love it someone that has a dog that looks like this they may want this once I get done with it like I said it had 14 and here are the symbols let's see if I can get them up here to you he's looking up at the symbols and there's the symbols if it well I hope it's plain for you and then there's the some of the symbols on there okay and I'm gonna flip it over there there's nothing major that's in this canvas it all stretch out once I get it in a flat area and I am going to write on this as the bloodhound I'll say hound dog and it's going to be a third it is a 30 by 40 I do believe Yes, 30 by 40. There we go. Now we have, these are the full drills. I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. I'm hoping this is the one I'm thinking it is. 
very special to me. If it is, let's see. Nope, it's not. It's not the one I'm waiting on. I'm really waiting on. There's one that I'm waiting on that's even better. Um, but this is a full drill. It is a dresser. I don't know if you'll be able to tell it. But it is a, yeah, you can. I can tell on the viewfinder. It is, you may have seen this when you're looking through your diamond paintings um, to choose. It is a dresser out that has been painted out in the garden and flowers have been planted in it. If you're going to do something like this, you're going to want to seal a hardwood. I wouldn't use anything uh, prefab type wood. Get you real wood make a, a, or and take that cabinet and I mean you need to paint it all over, seal it with a really good sealer, waterproofer, and paint it with your colors with oil base. Do not use anything but oil base. You need that for the weather, okay? And you may have to touch it up ever so often because you don't want it rotting. It's going to have water on it all the time because of your flowers. You need to really 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 if you're going to really do that i mean it can be done and this is just gorgeous look at the colors in this just beautiful beautiful and it's not big and you still can tell what it is and i hope that it will come across i hope these will look like flowers and not just blobs of color but that'll will be remain right remain to be seen after this one's done, it has 24 colors in this little 30 by 40 average picture. Okay, this is usually what everybody gets is 30 by 40s. Um, hopefully, you'll be able to tell what it is when we're done. Um, it has the regular um, toolkit. And the wax is a little small to me. I'm heavy handed with the wax. If I used the wax, oh my goodness, I'd probably run out. Some people can do it and never have to, they, they fill up their pen uh, maybe two times and they, and they can do 100 diamond paintings, it's, it's crazy. Oh, I love this color. It looks like real blueberries when they're dry. Oh my gosh, it's just, I love that color. It's a bluish gray. Oh, I love it. Okay, it has 24 colors, so let's find the 24. And there it is. There's 24, 23, 22, and 21. And these have really pretty colors. Look at this. That is a really unique blue green then like a burnt uh brownish red i guess pink and then the last one right there is green and they're kind of they're they're a really good color but i wouldn't call them pastel but they're kind of pastel-y <sighs> i'm making up my own words you know that's okay. We're creative. Um, so, you can see all these colors that's going to go in this one. This one is a full diamond painting. Meaning every section of this painting is a diamond. There's no areas in the middle that you see the canvas like on the partial one. And this one has just about every color there is known to man. In this one. This one's gonna be fun. Really fun. That's a unique color. Yeah, but that's, I think that's it. That, that's that blueberry like real blueberries when they're sitting there and they're dry they have this powdery look bluish grayish powdery look that looks just like it doesn't it 
And then we have the, this is a dark green and a peak uh, coral color. So this is going to be fabulous. Look at all these colors. Look, look at this. Look at all these colors in this picture. Definitely get this one, guys. If you like colorful, this is colorful. This is colorful. Nope. There we go. And then that went in there. So. And it closed on me. Love it, love it, love it. I used to, that all I really wanted to buy was uh, the fools because I never thought that these would have enough on it to justify the pricing. But I'm loving them now. And see that, oh yeah, that one's nice. Okay, 24, and I'm going to show you up close. Whoops, I'm getting hung on stuff. On the other diamond paintings, and here are your symbols that you're going to use. And if you notice, this is this is the order down to 1 through 24, and then this is the color, the actual diamond, the diamond color is put right here. So that way when I'm saving it, I know which colors it goes to. So when I have leftovers, I, this helps a lot. It does. And so then you've got the symbol grid. I'll let you see that up close if it will, if this ca uh, camera will behave. You can see how that goes. You see any problems or anything that you you might have with the symbols? And again, if anything spells out anything on there, ain't my fault. I didn't do it. <laughs> it just randomly does the symbols with the colors. The computer does um, when they print them. So if you find words in this, it's not that it meant to. <laughs> it's just how the colors come together. So. Now, this is the last one. It is another full. And it's a little bit more blurry for me. And I'm... I don't know. This may just turn out to look like a blob. Then again, it may just turn out to look beautiful. But it's a teacup, saucer, flowers. This is a bird, I think. These may be birds. Maybe flowers, but I'm not sure. And it may be flowers because there's something else right there. But I'll put the picture right here, what it's supposed to be. Okay, it has 24 colors. Believe it or not, there's 24 colors in this one. Just the same as the one that I just showed you. All right, I'm... Flipping it over, I don't see any major issues with the canvas. You can usually see it in the back better. Um, I'm going to check to see the sticky. It's a nice glue. I don't see any issue there. And I just put an air pocket in there. <laughs> Let's get those out. And I just put a river, I mean a canyon in there, and that's not good. We don't need no canyons. No canyons. And I think that did it. I'm making sure I get all those air pockets out. There's one right there, right at the start of that little area, so I may have to do a corner and there we go. I know I put more, <laughs> seems like I put more wrinkles in it than I need to, but 
Um, anyways, here are the symbols on this one. And you can see that you can't tell really, really if that's a flower or a bird, so I'm not really happy with this one. But that's okay. You never know. And this one's symbols and everything's printed out a little bit different on the key. They're more round. This is sort of like one of the very first, when they first come out, it was in round. And... Um, and if you notice, the grid on here is more the round. I believe this is one of the old, uh, original diamond painting uh, software that, that may have been printed out back then and just hasn't been sold yet. Um, if you notice, because the grid is, has actually round circles, because this is a round drill, round diamond. They call them drills, but... I do not know why it's uh, they're diamonds and wherever those round things is that's where you're going to put your diamonds okay nowadays they use just this kind of grid you notice I'm gonna put them side by side so you can tell the difference so this is the rant this side over here is the round this is the newer regular side you can see the difference here there's no round circles it's just the symbols and it actually seems to work probably good for both for both round and square this new way so anyways let's look at the diamonds oh there went See, like I said, if I'm not dropping things, it just ain't neat. Took regular tool kit with some baggies, so that's good. Ah, I'm getting stuck to it. Let's put you up. All right, diamonds. And it is the LCZ 067067. these out, making sure that I don't see anything falling out. Um, the, these kind of packs don't seem to have as much trash. Now this is number 24. Look how many this feels like. It's so much on this one. It just it feels so substantial on it, but it must be normal for this size. I don't know. But. I'm just rambling, youngins. That it does have 1 through 24. Now let's make sure that every one of them is present. Peach. Uh, plum. Blue jean color. Uh, another darker blue jean. Brownish. Orange. Colors right there. This is number 301 and number 356. If you know those on the chart. And here is a pretty um, green gray, a beige color, some mute. There are a lot of mute colors in this one. Um, browns, a more taupe, I guess. Khakis. This is that mint white. It's a greenish, really almost white, minty color. I love that. Grays, pinks, and blues. Let's see, let me go back and let you see that. Hot pink and different tones of grays. 939, that's 939s. And let's see. There you go, there's all 24. So, that is the last diamond painting for today. 
Okay, everyone, that was the last of all of those. There's nine of them, this whole stack. We did this whole stack of them. Uh, which one was your favorite? These were really awesome, and I love that most of them won't take me long at all to do because I'm just so busy and everything. I hope everything's okay with me because I felt like I was going to pass out. That was really weird. I mean, just all of a sudden, and I was, I was almost like I'm like, what has happened? What just happened to me? Weird. I was kind of confused at the same time that it happened. So it just kind of... I mean, it was that quick, though. It, I don't know what it was. Hopefully, it was just a little something. Maybe because I was holding my arms out too long. It might have been what it was. I don't know. I'm, I'm so tired, though. So, my, my, my body is like, okay, you've done too much lately. You've, you've not got as much sleep as you should. You need to take it easy. And it does warn me. I do try to do too many things and stay up too late a lot of times and so I've just been so excited about doing some crafts and things that I just night time it's quiet that's me time um I've ha whenever I have a grandchildren it um I love that peaceful night time and, and it's summertime so they stay over here because their daddy has to get up really early and I, I told him I said well they don't need to be getting up really early in the summertime we always stayed up late and and slept most of the day away <laughs> when it was summertime we enjoyed our summertime because you know you get tired of getting up going to that schoolhouse all the time now i homeschooled my kids because i hated that growing up i hated getting up so early and i had struggles in school and i had teachers that i i had a really bad run of teachers in my in my school I had one that uh, slapped me right across the face in third grade. Um, some that were very, very um, hurtful in what they would say about your artwork. Uh, you know, and then the kids were just really mean. Some of them would, I mean, you know how kids are. Some of them are just really mean. And it was all you could do to get through school without getting in a fight with people. That, um, down here, our high school was really crazy. So, anyways, with all that happiness said, I just took it all down a notch, didn't I? With all that said and done, I have one more video that I'm going to do after this one to record and get it set up on YouTube for when we go camping for the 4th of July. And that way, you will have a video come out on next Tuesday for the 4th. Or, yeah, it would be Tuesday. This one should go up Saturday before the 4th. So, I'm going to schedule it for Saturday. Uh, or maybe tomorrow. And, which will be Friday. So, anyways. Be good, y'all. Be good. It's getting hot. It's, it's the dog days of summer now. So, uh, keep praying for us. I love you and thank you so much for taking time out for watching my, my video. And remember, God loves you. He sent his only begotten son. And I say begotten son. I don't say his only son. His only begotten son. He has one son that it was begotten that actually died on the cross for us. And whenever things take that begotten away they're belittling it because and it's significant because the context needs that there because when you're saved and you've accepted Jesus in your life and you love him you become sons and daughters of the Lord it says that the the Jesus says that in the word in the bible that you become sons and daughters of Jesus, of God. You are sons and daughters of God. Not physically, of course, but spiritually, in our spirit, we become sons and daughters of the Lord. I know I've said that over and over again right there. I'm sorry, but he has many sons. He has only one 
begotten son. And that is so important. So important. So if you're reading something that takes that out, say, wait a minute. There is a difference here. So always, always, these, the Word of God is what, the Word with a capital W is Jesus. I love you so much. Thank you for bearing with me. And this was a pretty long one with the train. And I'll tell Isaac that y'all enjoyed it, his, seeing his train, and he'll be so excited. So leave it in the comments what you want to tell him, and I'll make sure I read it to him and show him where you, your picture on, on your comment. And so he will know how you felt, and that will make him feel so good. He doesn't get to come and spend time in a video as much as his sister has, because he hasn't really had an interest in it, but um, I, uh, Scarlett loves doing videos, so <laughs> anyways, I will see you later in the next video, everybody. Bye!